Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Harsha Ali Khan. Last video, few problems I have completed on funds flow statement. If you have watched that video, definitely you got the idea what type of problems we have in this chapter. First of all, we have discussed about provision for taxation. How we treat the provision for taxation in funds flow statement. How we calculate funds from operations. And how to make the statement of changes in working capital. These are the things we have already discussed. We have done the problem in the last video. So if you have not watched that video, if you are directly coming to this video, you may not be able to understand. So my suggestion, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject cost control and management accounting, select the topic of funds flow statement theory explained. In that theory, if you have watched that theory, definitely you can be able to know what are the things we have to do in this funds flow statement. Now in this video, I am going to continue the problem. That means the remaining 6th, 7th, 8th. These three problems I am going to explain you in this video. Next video, main problem will start. Now before starting the next problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problem before watching the video. And keep a notebook beside you. Because when I give the lecture a number of important points, I will explain. That point you jot it down immediately. Otherwise, you will forget it. Take a screenshot of the solutions of these three problems. Then I'll explain all the points in detail. Come on, see the sixth problem. <clears throat> Find the changes in working capital. See here, funds flow analysis or funds flow statement consists of two statements. Statement of changes in working capital and statement of source and application of funds. The first statement is statement of changes in working capital where we take current assets and current liabilities and nothing else. We want only two things, current assets according to the last balance sheet and current liability last balance sheet. Similarly, current assets and current liability are the current balance sheet. So here, sixth problem, find the changes in working capital from the particulars of Amara Raja Batteries Limited. Given below, asset side, machinery, stock, debtors, cash. Stock, debtors, cash. These three are the current assets. Only that will take. Machinery will not take. Liability side, share capital, trade creditors, PL account. Only trade creditors will take. That is a current liability. One current liability and three current assets. That's it. Now, see the solution. Uh, Amara Raja Batteries. This is the statement of changes in working capital. Particulars 1996. Last year was 1996. Current year is 1997. Increase column, decrease column. Current assets are stock, debtors, cash. Take the total A. The amounts are given in the problem. Last year 121, current year 136, 121, 136. Debtors are 181, 170, 181, 170. Cash is 4870, 4870. Total of current asset 350, 376. Trade payable, no, trade creditors 106,000, 70,000. Now working capital. Working capital is the difference between CA and CL. Current asset minus current liability working capital. A minus B. 3,50,000 minus 1,6,000, 2,44,000. This is the working capital last year. Current year working capital 376 minus 70, 3,6,000. So last year working capital 244, current year 306. There is increase in working capital from 244 to 306. So there is increase. So here you write down increase in working capital. Subtract 306 minus 244, you will get 62,000. So 62,000 should be written in that column where the amount is less. Here the amount is less, 244. So here I am taking 62,000 increase in working capital. This is our answer. Now in order to prove whether our answer of 62,000 is correct or not, to prove that we are opening the columns increase and decrease. Right? Here last one increase in working capital. So whenever there is increase, take the amount in decrease column. So this 62,000 should be taken in the decrease column. 
If there is increase, decrease. If there is decrease, then increase. Opposite. That's it. Now take all the assets. If current asset increases, increase column. If current asset decreases, decrease column. So here 121 to 136, increase by 15,000. Increase column. 181 to 170, decrease by 11,000. So decrease column 11,000. 48 to 70, increase, increase by 22,000. Increase column. But current liability, opposite rule. If there is increase, decrease column. If decrease, increase column. Here 106 to 70, so decreased. When decrease, we should take it in increase column. So 106 minus 70, you'll get 36. Increase column. Because there is decrease, so increase column. Now, if you have not committed any mistake, if your answer is correct, then total of increase and decrease must tally. If the total of increase and decrease are equal, that means your calculations are absolutely right. So here take the total 11,000 plus 62, 73. Here also take the total, you are getting 73. So 73, 73, both are equal. That means our calculations are absolutely right. Our answer is increase in working capital, 62,000. That's it. This is the end of problem number 6. Exactly the same way, 7th problem. Find out the changes in working capital. Changes in working capital we can find by making statement of changes in working capital. JBK Industries from the particulars given below. Assets, liabilities, last year 1996, current year 1997. Here you can see. JBK Industries statement of changes in working capital for the current year 1997. The so last year 1996, current year 1997, increase, decrease. Exactly same way. Now you have to identify which are the current assets. Here it is given goodwill. Goodwill is fixed asset. It's intangible fixed asset, not concerned. For making working capital, we need only current assets and current liability. The so next one, cash, debtor, stock. Cash, debtor, stock. These are the current assets. Investments. Nothing is given whether short-term investments or long-term investment. If it is a short-term investment, then we would have taken under current asset. If it's a long-term investment, we will not take. Nothing is given, we'll make an assumption. We assume that investments are long-term investments. That's why we are not taking it here. So in examination, if this situation arises like this, better you give a note. Below this solution, you should write a note that investments are assumed to be long-term investments. That's why we have not taken. Ignore. Then after investment, land. Land is a fixed asset. Don't take. Preliminary expenses. It is a fictitious asset. Imaginary asset. Don't take. So out of all the assets, only three assets are current assets. That is cash, debt or stock. Take last year figure 7025. 70, Debtors 1998. I have taken. Stock 12087. 120, current liability. Come to current liability. Creditors, bills payable. Creditor is a current liability. Bills payable is a current liability. Now loan. Actually, if nothing is given, only loan is given. We assume it is a long-term loan. But in the bracket, it is given due in 1997. Current year up to 1997, so it is due within one year. Current liability meaning is any liability which is due within a period of one year. Any liability which is due within a period of one year is called current liability. So here the loan is due in 1997, it's a current liability. Now capital is not a current liability, PL account not a current liability. So three items we are going to take that is creditors, bills payable and loan which is due in 1997. Right? Actually it is not 1997, make it 1998. Printing mistake is there. Due in 1998 because our 1997 is over, completed. Next year is 1998. So there is a printing mistake, make it due in 1998. So three current liabilities are there. Creditors, bills payable, loan due in 1998, not 1997. It is 1998. Right? Now amounts are given in the problem. 
amounts are where is that problem here credit cards 4550 45050 bills payable 3520 and loan due is last year 20000 current year nil last year 20000 current year nil so here take the total total of current assets 280000 here 210000 total of current liability 170000 now working capital is the difference current asset minus current liability a minus b 280 minus 1 lakh 180 210 minus 70000 that is 1 lakh 40000 so last year working capital 1 lakh 80 current year working capital 1 lakh 40000 there is decrease in working capital by 40000 last year 180 to 140 40000 decrease if decrease is there take the amount in increase column opposite decrease in working capital should be taken in increase column right and this 40,000 should be taken in that column which is less here 180 140 140 is less in this 140 I'm writing 40 so both the sides equal 180 180 now we want to prove whether our answer of 40,000 is correct or not to check that we have opened the column increase and decrease increase in current asset increase in working capital decrease in current asset decrease in working capital so here 70 to 25 there is decrease by 45 similarly 90 to 98 increase by 8000 120 to 87 there is decrease by 33 now come to credit house so here current assets we have taken now current liability current liability opposite rule increase in current liability decrease in working capital opposite so check 45 to 50 there is increase so we write down in decrease column 5000 here 35 to 20 decrease so we write the amount in increase column 15000 here 20000 to 0 that means decreased so we write down in increase column now take the total of increase and decrease it is tallied 83,000 83,000 that means our answer of decrease of 40,000 is correct because the total increase and decrease is same this is the end of problem number 7 one more problem 8th problem prepare a statement of changes in working capital of Saroja limited from the transaction from the information given below again we are required to prepare the statement of changes in working capital of Saroja limited here statement of changes in working capital for the year 2016 last year 2015 current year 2016 so current assets here specifically given in the problem current assets are inventories trade receivable cash and cash equal separately given so directly we take inventories trade receivable cash and cash equal and current liability only one item is given trade payable here trade payable only one current same value is whatever is given in the problem last year current year i have taken the total of current assets 255 total of current assets current year 277 then current liability 45 70 working capital ca minus cl 255 minus 45 210 277 minus 70 2 lakh 70 last year 2 lakh 10 thousand current year 2 lakh 7 thousand there is decrease in working capital by 3000 so decrease in working capital 3000 now both the sides it is equal now decrease should be taken in increase column so increase column 3000 now we want to confirm whether our answer of 3000 is correct or not so we have opened the column of increase and decrease so here 80 to 90 10,000 increased 112 to 122 10,000 increased 63 to 65 2000 increased here current liability 45 to 70 increase so increase should be taken in decrease column so decrease column 25 that's all now check whether increase and decrease both the columns are equal or not decrease column 25 increase column 25 both are 25 that means our answer is correct 3000 decrease in working capital so in this video i have completed the short questions on funds flow statement so in this video three problems have completed all the three problems on calculating the uh, decrease or increase in working capital by making a statement of changes in working capital next video i'm going to start the main problems on funds flow statement